Hello, Laura. It's really nice to have you here. Can you explain what are you doing right now at the International Secretariat? Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you for inviting me to be on the show. Uh, so my role at Amnesty is I am based in the International Secretariat in London, and I am the researcher and advisor on sexual orientation and gender identity, which means I am the, the person at Amnesty who researches the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex people around the world. That sounds really amazing. You have a lot of upcoming campaigns. Can you talk a bit more about what you're going to do there? Mm. Yeah, I can talk a little bit about what we are planning to do over the next year. Um, my current priority project is I am working on a project on researching the rights of intersex people in Germany and also in Denmark. Um, and I can talk a little bit more about that if, if you would like. And within Amnesty, we also have other projects working on the rights of LGBTI people around the world. For example, we are working with Uh, LGBTI human rights defenders in Central Asia to look at some of the human rights violations that they experience to see how, how the challenges they face and how their human rights can they, how they can access and enjoy their human rights and we're also for example uh, researching the rights of LGBTI people in Japan uh, with a view to campaigning for the introduction of in anti-discrimination legislation that covers sexual orientation and gender identity so we work uh, on lots of different things around the world. That sounds all really cool. Can you talk a bit more specific about the German campaign for us mm -hmm. in Germany? Yeah, so at the moment we are looking at some of the human rights uh, violations that are faced by intersex people in Germany. And intersex people are people who are born with variations in their sex characteristics. And we, we know we are currently carrying out research to find out what, um, particularly looking at the medical treatment that these individuals have been subjected to often as children and looking at some of the ways in which they have been uh, subjected to unnecessary medical treatment or medical treatment without their informed consent and that this is a violation of, of their human rights and we are investigating the situation with a view to making recommendations to the German and to the Danish governments to change the situation and to allow intersex people to access their human rights. Thank you very much. And you're currently in Germany to do a bit research about the campaign. How's your approach? How do you do that? Yes, so I have spent uh, the last uh, week and a half uh, traveling to different German cities to speak to different people who've been affected by this issue. So I have interviewed intersex people. I have interviewed activists who are campaigning for the rights of intersex people. Uh, I've spoken to peer supporters who work with intersex people who are facing many challenges. And I've also been speaking with doctors and medical professionals and physicians who have been working with intersex people to find out what What is happening right now in Germany and I have been interviewing them and researching the situation uh, with a view to documenting my findings in a report that will form the basis of Amnesty's campaigns on these issues. Okay. Thank you very much for the interview. It was really nice to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you.